We have new information tonight about a drug raid at a Charleston gas station just down the road from the state capitol. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rob Macko. 20 people accused of dealing meth, fentanyl and crack cocaine. 13 News reporter Lane Ball has been following this story and brings us the latest. Police had 20 arrest warrants for people allegedly involved in drug activity here at the Parmar gas station on the east end of Charleston. Now six were arrested tonight and we've learned that one was an employee at the gas station during the investigation. An investigation that lasted two months from October to November. During that time frame, the special enforcement unit with the Charleston Police Department sent undercover informants to this Parmar store on the east end of Charleston for reports of drug activity. They realized there was a, a large amount of uh, narcotics being sold here on the parking lot. Lieutenant Tony Hazlett goes on to say that they participated in numerous transactions, including purchasing fentanyl, cocaine and methamphetamine, and several happened within the store. We was able to take 20 people and uh, obtain arrest warrants ranging from, you know, dealing narcotics on the parking lot to employees dealing narcotics out of the store. Out of the 20 warrants issued, six people were arrested Tuesday, three from Charleston, one from Huntington and two from Detroit, Michigan. Bryant Williams, Marcus Holmes, Israel Mitchum, Beverly Lewis and Ciara Thomas were all arraigned in Kanawha County Magistrate Court Tuesday night. Williams and Holmes are both from Detroit and the criminal complaint says Israel Mitchum was an employee at the Parmar at some point during the investigation, but Hazlett says she was no longer employed there when the raid occurred. The city of Charleston filed for and a judge granted an injunction for the location. Police arrived shortly after this and chained up the doors. We've reached out to the owners of the gas station for comment on the situation and a representative says they're not giving a statement at this time. Officials are still looking for the remaining 14 suspects and I'll continue to bring you updates on this case as I learn more. Reporting in Charleston, Lane Ball, 13 News.